Hi everyone, it's a frat from United Way checking in with you. First of all, how are you? We've been hearing from some folks that they've managed to find a sense of rhythm the last few weeks and, and from others that they're still struggling. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what's helped you the most during this time. I've included our contact information below and I'll share out your answers in the next video message. We look forward to hearing from you. Wow, these are strange times. Uh, many of us are rethinking our Memorial Day plans and are your kids as antsy as mine to be with their friends? Who knows what summer will look like? But that's for later. For now, I promised you an update. What's going on at United Way? You've probably seen a boatload of press releases coming from our office about the COVID-19 relief fund. I want to break this down a bit so you'll know where your gifts are making an impact. As of May 21st, over $1.1 million has been given out in grants to our local social services. This week we announced phase two grants totaling $450,000 in gifts. These grants will be used by programs and services for people whose lives have been turned upside down by this pandemic. Isn't that generosity amazing? And in such short time. This is due in no small part because people like you responded early and generously to people in need. And what about the second $25,000 match gift to the relief fund? Again, from Bloomington Health Foundation. This dollar for dollar match, just like the first one, doubles the impact and the amount of each gift. That means that if you know someone who wants to donate their stimulus check or to make a gift to the relief fund, BHF will match that gift. So in addition to major investments in food security, like the additional $150,000 we just granted to Hoosier Hills Food Bank to shore up our local food supply, safe shelter, safe childcare, the latest round of grants from the Relief Fund also reflects what the Social Services Task Force learned over the last few weeks about our local needs for health and personal safety. That task force is Tina Peterson, John Berida, Beverly Callender Anderson, Diane Bazell, and Dan Smith and I. We learned this. Predictably, people need connection now more than ever, in addition to other pressing needs. This concern for health and safety is playing out at Centerstone and Catholic Charities where they're working overtime to meet family and children's mental health challenges. It's playing out at Stonebelt and Life Designs who re-engineered their protocols so that professionals could go into client homes safely. Playing out at the Indiana Recovery Alliance and Amethyst House where those in recovery are facing incredible challenges as work opportunities dry up and other important routines for clients are interrupted. When it's all said and done, we're gonna look back on this time of unprecedented generosity and caring. And when we do, I have no doubt that you'll be proud to have been a part of this army of compassion. It's incredible to see everyone doing what they can to help, donating dollars, time, sewing skills, sharing positive messages on social media. We're all doing what we can we're all doing what we can. So thank you for that. And thank you for supporting your United Way team to help you help others. Till we meet again, take good care, be safe and be well.